So yeah. this thing's gonna be pretty built. Yeah, with the parts I already have, gear sprockets and chain uh, with that and the, the input, input shaft. shaft, and then with the Quaif LSD, uh, Dave from Triple Edge told me there's not one other part I could recommend you for this transmission. You just bought it all. If you need any transmission parts for these cars, go to uh, Triple Edge Performance. I'm absolutely not getting a deal by telling you that. You saw the invoice, you saw how much that costed. Yep. However, after dealing with ZZP and then dealing with Dave, 100% will always go back to Dave and give him my money any time. ZZP does not deserve your money for anything and especially not for transmission parts. All right guys, we're back. We finally have a update for the Bonneville for you guys. We find this is what we've been waiting on. So Tristan purchased this months ago. I mean, like, when did you purchase this? Um, at the very end of December. Yeah. So these are all the uh, transmission parts for the newspaper. That's funny. This is all the transmission parts for his uh, rebuild. So as you guys know, his wow. Bonneville got. I was gonna say recently rebuilt, but now at this point, it's been quite a while since it's been running. There's clearly something wrong with the engine at the moment. Or sorry. Um, there's clearly something wrong with the transmission because it just howls and it doesn't shift, you know, what we, wide open throttle doesn't want to shift. Yeah, and... I mean, even the work that we did was never a rebuild. We were just putting in performance parts and then eventually it just... Well, we uh, messed up because parts fell out and we had to put yeah. everything back together. Not saying it was our fault that it happened, but the, the transmission itself had, you know, however yeah. many hundreds, thousands of miles and also had, when we drained it, already had great fluid in it. Yeah, and the only new parts we put in was a, uh, a shift kit, a, uh, well no, that was actually earlier. So we put in an input shaft and we put in a, a gear ratio conversion and a different chain, so. And then replace the differential. Yeah, so replace the, right, because I broke the other one. And so essentially everything else is stock in this transmission and so it's, uh, it, it, uh, I'm surprised it didn't want to go earlier. But yeah. now it wants to go, now the transmission needs to be replaced, so. Instead of replacing it, we're just getting it rebuilt. It's going to be the easiest that's, choice. It's not the full saga. You bought a built yeah. transmission that's right behind there. We don't talk right, about that. Right, right in this box is a built 4T65E with a Quaif LSD, yes. which if you guys know anything about, you know, 3800s and just the transmissions that they came with, they came with 4T65s and none of them ever came with an LSD unless you could get them for like a GM torsion differential, but I don't think you could do that. It would be like aftermarket thing, but yep. Quaif made differentials for them, and we happen to have one now. Yeah, and it's in a transmission that I can't use for my car, yeah. so that transmission's up for yeah. sale. Yeah, you might interested. ask why we can't use that transmission. Well, a my myriad of reasons. Yes. Too many really to go into. Yep, the case is different. That's all you need to know. Lack Not of reinforcements, work. internals, electronics, a lot of different things. We electronics were could be unaware. dealt with, but. No reason to do it when I have a transmission that's perfectly good. Yeah. The only thing that sucks is downtime on the car, but we're hoping to get it down and back up in a week. So hopefully that happens. So um, I don't really want to go digging through all of this. It's all packed pretty well. I'm not exactly sure what's in there, but this is the... Uh, this looks like a band or something. Or no, what is this? Yeah. Oh, these are clutch packs. This is the Harden fourth clutch hub. Oh, nice. So that's I that's remember Harden. this guy. Um... So probably every, just some more beef on, you know, the sections here and mm -hmm. and it's just I think it's just hardened more than a stock one is. A transmission shop will not warranty your transmission without this part. From Sonax? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of these parts are Sonax. Yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't say specifically yeah, Sonax. Yeah, show me the the whole checklist. Right here. So we got Master Kit with Borg Warner frictions. Five friction input, clutch pack, oversized second steels, bond and cell, valve body spacer, stage two valve body. Oh, you got a new valve body? Yep. Wow, that's really awesome. Shift kit, oversized billet third to ply piston, fourth, hardened fourth clutch hub shaft, side cover gasket, filter, Ooh, Sonex. that looks so pretty. What is that? That is... Housing third clutch. Nice. I think. Oh, is that? It says yep. that. Okay, cool. That's cool looking. That is cool looking. Yeah, the anodized uh, uh, red aluminum. New Sonic Sonax torque converter clutch. Oh yeah, valve. it's the clutch piston kit. Nice. Got it. Yeah, we want to keep pretty much everything here in order, so mm -hmm. just so it's easier for the shop to handle because uh, 
we were talking about rebuilding it ourselves, but just ultimately it'd be better for a shop to do it. And we got a really good quote for a shop to rebuild it with all these parts here. Um, it was like a thousand dollars or something like that just yeah. to swap everything. We'll obviously provide them with the transmission. Everything, yeah. Yeah, in fact, So we'll drop it off ourselves and they can, you know, take care of that pretty quickly, I'm sure. This transmission shop wasn't entirely sure what I wanted because they don't really get people coming to them and be like, hey, I have every single part to the transmission. And they're like, no, you don't. To warranty it, we want this, 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 and that, including a TransGo ship kit. And I'm like, yeah, no, I have every single piece that you're saying. And they're like, okay, well, then at that point, it'll only be labor. And then, so they just weren't sure on what I was really wanting because they don't have a lot of customers that have everything for sure. a transmission rebuild. They just say, hey, rebuild my transmission. This must be the valve body. Yeah. This is interesting. It's uh, pretty well packed. Is that everything in this box? Yeah. No. Oh, oh yeah, there's, there's, ga there's, gaskets, oh, there's gaskets, gaskets, gaskets down at gaskets. the bottom. Probably like the, so the valve body gaskets. And is there stuff under here too? Yeah, I there can is. feel. There's the, that's like the filter there. More did gaskets, you show the, gasket and seal, seals and. Did you show the price hall. tag? Oh, is there a price tag on here? So, Triple Edge Performance in uh, wow, Fort no. Wayne, and this whole thing came out to rocking twelve hundred dollars. Pretty decent, if I do say so myself, because the transmission he already has, you know, no added cost for that. He has a Quaif LSD. That thing's like. 1400 to 2000 and then this whole rebuild kit 1100 1200 so yeah. this thing's gonna be pretty built yeah with the parts i already have the uh the different gear sprockets and chain uh, with that and uh the input, the input shaft. shaft and then with the quaif lsd uh dave from triple edge told me there's not one other part i could recommend you for this transmission you just bought it all so that's pretty awesome to hear that there's not anything else i could possibly uh, buy to make this uh, transmission any better the only thing realistically would be like a better input shaft but, but you're not going for that power level like the yeah. input shaft you you have the 4340 is yep. going to be perfectly capable of handling the power mm -hmm. levels of a blower Z zzp says like a blower car with that power can't or m90 car can't break that input shaft and though i don't recommend buying any transmission parts from uh zzp from zzp uh that was years ago i did had trouble with it and then had to have Triple Edge help yeah. me anyways. So, um... That's a very detailed story on our channel. Realistically, uh, you know, I wouldn't have bought that now, but anyways, like, there's no reason to upgrade it. This looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna have pretty much everything that... It's already uh, got all the electronics in there, too. The, uh, shift solenoids and the torque to converter clutch imagine. solenoids. Yeah. And he... Dave with Triple Edge handles everything, so... You just basically tell him what transmission you have, and he'll probably ask you questions too. I don't know yeah, how much he talks to Yeah, he even says it on the sheet, uh, on the invoice, like what car do you have, what year, and then yeah, 2000 there. Pontiac Bonneville SSEI. Yeah, this is all That's super really fancy. cool. That valve body. In fact, this probably is like similar valve body to what's in that one. Something upgraded from GM. We have the uh, Transgo Ooh, shift Transgo kit. Transgo shift kit. So which this... I never even got all of the shift kit in my transmission because you have to tear apart the transmission yeah. to get the full shift kit in there. So it's yeah. going to be cool to have all of it. In and Transgo has really good instructions on everything. Ultrason did was the accumulator, accumulator. which is... Which is really okay. easy, guys. Yeah. Really easy to get a better feel out of your transmission with yourself. You just got to drop the pan and take the accumulator out. Super easy. Yep. So uh, you got all that. Oh, it looks like... Uh, I don't know if this is something Dave added, but he has oh. special instructions on top of it. That is, I've you can see all, all this stuff in pen. Like, oh, I mean, let me see this. I think specifically, like, this is a Sonax part that was bought right here. So yeah. it's probably like, no, don't put, don't do that. New valve body ready to install. No changes. That's why. Oh, that's cool. That is very useful. Thank you. That will be really good for yeah. the uh, the. I would when you drop it off. Specifically mention the instructions for the shift kit have you know important information on there. That's good to know. And you can see everything that's in here. I think he already took out some of the stuff. Yeah, he must have. He took out the parts that were in those oh. instructions to put in there. Nice. So they're already installed. So it's basically just drop in and then these go in for the pistons and everything. There looks like some dowels or spacers in there. So 
uh, all the parts that are in here. Some of them are already installed in that in that valve body, which is very convenient. And then you know, you know, it's going to be done what done correctly. Dave does a good job. Yeah, I think that's the last part. This is just the all the gaskets and then the filter there. Oh, looks like there's some there's something in there. Oh yeah, some like piston seals. More seals and bushings. Oh, bushings. These are all the bushings, yeah. Master yep. rebuild bushing kit. Which, um, if you get a master rebuild build kit, normally you don't get these unless you like buy more, spend more money on them. Dress washers and stuff. That's the one thing is like I guess with a normal rebuild, bushings aren't an average thing. Mm. That like a full rebuild, there's a difference. I guess so. Oh yeah, look, just that little part Sonax makes is like a big difference out here. It's like a relief valve. Yeah, I had some of those on my Mustang actually, my my valve body. And then I think that's it. And then I'm curious on what's in this. Can you grab yeah. that out? Oh, it's like the uh, sun gear, or the uh, oh, sun shell. Yeah. It looks like a sun shell, kind of like what it was Vince's, but a lot smaller. Yeah. But it's not splined in the center. I don't know what this is for. Some type of, holds a clutch pack or holds a drum or something. Maybe the drum goes on something. the outside. I'm not a huge uh, 4T65E guy. No. Even though, we, <laughs> I, I, even though we were in Tr Tristan's and, you know, quote unquote, got that back together. Yeah, these are just, oh, this is maybe the band. Yeah, that's the band. Oh. I don't want to take apart absolutely everything just so we're not mixing up things. Oh, these are the steels, the, maybe those are the fourth gear and then the clutch steel. New forward band, probably a better design than what you had in I yours. I so, because they break pretty easy. And if you wear those out, then your forward gears, your yeah, your four gears don't work. Suddenly you got all neutral. Bunch of clutch packs. Nice. All the clutch packs and steels here. More clutches, more clutches. Well, no, that feels like another band or something. All right, I'm just gonna put this stuff back for now. Oh, I'm super excited, I'm bummed. Before we drop it off, we're gonna need to take the quaif differential out of that yep. thing to deliver to them as well. I've also got a few parts that are going in the transmission. The uh, the converter I got from oh, that yeah. transmission. The 2500 stall converter? Mm -hmm. Which will be really cool. And then I also have um, I also have this one of the sun gears that we took apart my transmission at one point in time. It was like some of the teeth were sheared right. off, but like it still worked. And we just didn't have enough time to get the uh, the replacement from Dave in time, so we just put the transmission back together. It was fine, and then because uh, we had to get my daily back on the road, and then I've always had it, so we're just gonna put that in there because that's damaged. Yeah. The side cover. I don't know if you guys remember, oh, but right. the yeah, side, cover my, side cover of my side cover of my freaking. Uh, of my transmission is cracked oh, yeah. near a bolt hole, and so what we did is we JB welded it, and I was told that will never hold. But it's held. It's been sitting sitting good for 8,000 miles, so I'd say it, it did a pretty good job. Yep, and yeah, the uh, once we have the transmission out, we have been talking about you know selling extra parts and whatnot, and that built transmission over there. Obviously, it's not coming with the Quake, but. We need to take his transmission out first and then inventory everything and then it'll be for sale. We'll put, you know, a list together for you guys and, you know, contact info. So if you're wanting to buy some upgraded 4T65E parts, you can. Yeah, we won't be, uh, everything in that transmission will be coming with the transmission. Um, however, you know, it's got the box so it can easily ship. You know, oh yeah, freight shipping. Ship it. That's, it came all the way from Florida to us. So if you guys are interested, let us know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have some good content on the Bonneville pretty soon here. Yep, and once we're able to get the new transmission in and it back up and running, we'll fix a, we have that, we still have that coolant and a engine oil leak on mm -hmm. your engine, so we'll fix that. Yep. But once those are fixed, the new transmission's in, we'll actually be able to continue tuning with Garner. We'll be able to get our three inch supercharger pull in because this entire time we've been running on a 3.4 unknowingly, so that's why yep. we weren't making over eight pounds of boost. Yep. And, oh you know, yeah, it's not going to go back. It's not going to go back. It's not going to hurt force anything. It. Yeah. Maybe we can tape this up or something. Fuck, and then this box is not going to close. 
That's fine. She is. But it'll be exciting. It'll be fast once we get going on it. We'll just, Tristan's going to be taking a week off, so we'll have two weekends, and then he'll have the full week to work on it. Which, I don't even think we'll need that much time, really. Yeah, I don't think we will. So we could probably devote some of that time to, to some of Project F stuff or whatever. Uh, I am I am very impressed with how good he packed this and anything. Like Everything's so this. organized and sectioned. Is. Yeah, they're all sectioned where they need to go. So if you need to buy any transmission parts for your 4T65E, and, I mean, he sells other parts to uh, for 60... 60 E's as well. So if you need any transmission parts for these cars, go to uh, Triple Edge Performance. I'm absolutely not getting a deal by telling you that. You saw the invoice, you saw how much that costed. Yep. However, after dealing with ZZP and then dealing with Dave, 100% will always go back to Dave and give him my money any time. ZZP does not deserve your money for anything and especially not for transmission parts. They don't do transmissions, and I got their input shaft defective, so... Yep, and they said that's never happened before. And they said, that's never happened in 10 years, it's just you. Yep. I'm like, okay, that's not what a transmission shop, and what Dave from Triple Edge says. And they're like, oh, Dave, okay. Well, yep, once he said that. Maybe he's right. Yeah. Yep, and hopefully this will all be ready by race season. I'll have to check PIR's schedule, but... Uh, we should finally be able to bring the Bonneville to the drag strip. It'll have its built transmission, it'll have its new motor, it'll be tuned, and maybe Tristan will be able to, I'm, I'm sure he'll be able to beat his his previous time. His previous personal best was a 13.7 at 100 miles an hour. It's gonna be sad if I won't be able to. But, you, I mean, you got, it's cam now, you got- It's uh, cam, you know, it's got, uh, it's got a whole transmission behind it. Like, if it doesn't do this, I'm gonna be sad. It should realistically be making more power. It should be to able to actually launch because you'll have a higher stall oh, yeah, and you'll have cool. the LSD differential. Like the two wheels were going to be putting power to the ground. Big difference. Yep. So hopefully I can get in the 1299, you know? Yeah. I doubt it. I doubt it. But I think 1299 like, so cool. is possible for sure. That'd be cool. I probably need like a bigger cam because that cam barely does, not, barely does anything. I mean, it adds like 30 horsepower maybe, but... Yeah, we need to also figure out the cooling system, so possibly do a tubular front impact bar so we can cut out the front bumper so you get more yes. intake air that through would be the cool. front. We're also going to be wrapping his headers with some titanium exhaust yeah. wrap. So we're going to be doing this for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, hopefully be able to reduce some underhood temps. What else are we doing on that thing? Hmm. Besides wrapping and besides taking everything out, wrapping the headers, um, maybe that crash bar. I think that's pretty much all we're, oh yeah, moving the catch can to somewhere higher. Mm -hmm. But besides that, I don't think we have anything else on the list. Yeah, finding that, uh, finding the, the oil leak and then retorquing the heads are the most important part. Or putting some Teflon uh, paste on the threads. That too, that too. I'm replacing it, so I already, brand new head bolts in it, but we didn't retorque it after it heat cycled. And so what we're gonna do now is that we have, uh, I bought two sets of head studs, head bolts on accident. And so we're, I'm just gonna replace the ones that are on the heads now, one by one, and then just Teflon, Teflon tape them as well. Basically the reason being is these 3800s, the head bolts go through and they actually yeah. touch water jackets. So mm -hmm. that's why on older cars that have deck cool still, you actually might wear out your head studs because it'll literally exactly eat away that. the head studs. That is, that is a huge problem with a early bolts. 2000, uh, uh, what is it? 4.6 liter Cadillac engine, the North, North Star engines. Yeah. Famous for eating away the head studs and then blow a head gasket because the, the stud can't hold the head on anymore. Yep. So yeah, big issue. And that's why I think it's leaking. So like right here where the head meets the block, it's seeping a little bit of coolant out. Not enough to make a, a issue to where my car has ever been low. Uh, I've looked at it, you know, but uh, so I don't let it get low, but it's never been an issue. But I have gotten oil, uh, a low oil light a few times and uh, it's because somewhere around here, on the back of on the, the back, somewhere, oil is getting onto the valve cover and covering my harness. Don't have any idea. Uh, I have a few buddies telling me that it's probably one of these bolts for the lower intake manifold that uh, possibly go through the valve trank, which some of them do. Possibly, yeah. 
And so we're but we we put that. we did put PTFE paste on everything. And I've never had an issue with that prior to this. Yeah, it's so weird. So I've never had an issue of a limbo the, leaking oil. The problem with his is Hello? because the uh, tr uh, the engine is you know transversely mount. So basically, if there's a leak there, it'll go right onto the headers. Yep. And then I smell it, and then it's awful. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly smelling uh, burnt oil at a stoplight. And I do not like it. It's bothersome. And just the leaking. I don't want my car to leak, especially when it's a brand new engine. So we're going to try and figure that out once the engine is out of the car. But pretty much that is all our plans for the next couple weeks, probably. You know, that's all our like plans with the Bonneville in general as of now. Besides, you know, possibly racing it. Um, we'll have more driving videos for sure. Once that's up and oh, yeah. running, we'll yeah, do more driving videos too. Tuning videos, yeah. But... As for that, that's pretty much like the only big thing we're going to be doing to the Bonneville, but uh, lowering the pulley size again will be really nice. It'll make the car feel even better. It feels so good. Like, it feels like it did back at my previous build before it blew up, uh, and that's at uh, a lot higher of a, much bigger of a pulley, you know, 0.4 inches difference. And uh, I figured out why I bought that. I bought that for the higher compression engine that one because like higher compression yeah. i won't need all that boost nor do i want it because i don't want to like break the engine but then i then i found out that the engine's a piece of shit and then hey i don't need that 3.4 inch pulley anymore the only other thing i can think of is your intercooler is very suspect of separating oh, yeah. so we gotta we got to smoke test it see if there's any vacuum leaks through there and then, if that is the case, bite the bullet and possibly buy, like, a ZZP True. Uh, full stack. True. I don't want to buy another one. I mean, you can buy the intercooler by itself, no other accessories, no, you know, because, you know, they yeah. sell them in kits. You can buy the thing by itself for, like, $600, I think. The core? I think so. I thought, I was thinking 350 last I thought, last I saw this, it. This is their, like, newest generation. <gasps> yeah. Oh, God. I don't want to give ZZP any more money. <laughs> I'll have to check on the price of it, but yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah, I'll have to check too. If it's three fifty, that's not a bad deal. No, I, it's not terrible. It's just giving ZZP money. And I also don't want to buy a, a used one because like, I might end up in the si situation like similar to what I'm at where like the, the phenolic uh, rubber is now separating from the aluminum and we're like... I don't think they have any phenolic material. It's all aluminum. Oh, the ZZP one? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. I think so. So that won't be an issue. Yep. Maybe we can weld on some AN bungs so we don't have to use hose clamps. That would actually be pretty nice. That would be so nice to have a, a screw-off fitting. Yep. Oh, man. Well, you probably wouldn't be able to get a wrench down there. Oh, and, yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> snout. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it. We're going to... Uh, I guess have some more Bonneville stuff here in the next couple weeks. Yep, that's going to do it, guys. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Helps YouTube push it to, you know, more viewers to see. Leave a, uh, leave a like, check our other videos, and subscribe.